All right. Let's go over here to table number seven. From Yonkers, New York, multiple winner on our tour. In 2017, he won the New Jersey State Nine Ball and Ten Ball Championships. He's sponsored by High Rock, Frankie Hernandez. And his opponent from Orange, Connecticut, he's a five-time winner here at Turning Stone. He's a U.S. Oh, Open champ. He's a two-time Moscone Cup European team champ member. Ocean State Nine Ball champ. He's got a lot of championships. Jason Shaw. All right. <clears throat> Is it clean now? Did you brush it? I did get a brush. Yeah, that was brushing the dish. Is that brushing down? <laughs> All right, down here we have two two nice young gentlemen. They're going to have a, a match here on the live stream table. If you want to get this uh, on the internet, tell your friends they can go on uh, azbilliards.com and access the live stream. Is uh, upstate Al there? Who we got? We got we got, uh, we got Troy? Troy and Danny DiLiberto. Troy and Danny DiLiberto. We got there the all-star go. cast, baby. All right. So uh, check it out. You get some good uh, live commentary. You get to talk to Danny DiLiberto, Hall of Famer. Right now, he's a former Massachusetts straight pole champ. He's a former Northeast nine ball open champ. I started that tournament in my room. Multiple winner on our tour, Matt Tatro. And his opponent, he, he's a runner-up all the time. Well, he's got a lot of wins down there and um, tours down there in Florida that he didn't want to tell us about. From Clearwater, Florida, he's our summer regular player, Donnie Mills. Good luck, guys. Summer regular. <laughs> All right. On table nine from Frederick, Maryland, another young gentleman plays like anybody, as good as anybody, can beat anybody, and has beaten everybody. In 2017, he won the Barry Berman Memorial Championships. Plus, he's won countless tournaments down his part of the country. Brandon Schuff and his opponent. He won countless Joss Northeast Nine Wall Tour Championships, and he saw that eh, it looks so. All right, we're going to mute Mike Zuglin as he makes his announcements on the opposite side of the room. And then we're just going to run through some graphics for the sponsors that are on board. They well deserved. Uh, but uh, Mike Zuglin's got us on. Back-to-back -back matches here. So we will flash their logos across and we'll try to get them in between racks if we could. Make sure to check out BilliardEngineering.com, Light-Systems.com. This is coming up, USA versus Russia. That'll be a pay-per-view stream from ABNBilliards.ru. And that's Mr. Pat Flatting bringing you the inaugural 2018 U.S. International Nine Ball Open at a Norfolk, Virginia. We got to get to Donnie Mills and his break. Here we go. Danny DiLiberto and NJ Pool Player in the box. There we go. Thanks for having us, Al. Donnie Mills wins the lag. Makes nothing. And he comes up dry. Leaving a pretty nice table there for Matt. You're right. You see in the second table, Frankie Hernandez and Jason Shaw, Eagle Eye. Got to make, make sure to get kind of past that six ball. What do you think, Danny? Yeah, jack up and pop it. Just watch watch the uh, corner pocket. Oh, he's not going that far. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, you have a little tough time getting up there for the five, but don't get too greedy. Just make it and get up past the side if you can. 
tough shot. Yeah, you don't want to jam it into the pocket, right? And he's jacked up. He's got the back of the queue elevated, so anything can happen. I don't think he's going to get position. Doesn't look good. Well, he's, I think he's going to go forward now. He just looked pointed over there on the right-hand rail. Well, maybe not. He changed his mind again. Oh, that was the worst of both of uh, either going forward attempt. or going backwards, right? He didn't have a real good plan, but he looks a little fidgety anyway. <laughs> I'll have to go after a kick here. Now with five balls left on the table, would you rather kick this at pocket speed or give it a go? You might as well kick it pocket speed. Best chance to make it if you have the right speed. Oh, and he comes out That's missing a, it. A sleep in the street kick. <laughs> It was a small ball against the rail. Well, he didn't get position. You don't play position for a kick a mile away. Yeah, no, he... he I he's think he, fidgety. Believe me, he's fidgety. He was a little straight on that ball on the rail. He was undecided. And Donnie Mills has been playing really well. I've been watching him play uh, yeah. his prior matches. He's always a contender. Someone mentioned to me, uh, a friend of ours, said he may be the dark horse to win this. And I told him, I said, it wouldn't be. I really be. don't think so, but he's a good person. He loves the game, and he always finishes high. But I just don't think he can win one of these yet. Well, it looks like he's going to win this game and get, get draw first blood. Well, I like to say... He didn't win this game. The other guy lost it. That's for sure, Danny. He didn't look too good. He's going to be the recipient of getting a point, though. Oh, yeah, that counts. 100 years from now, you don't know how it happened, but he won it. <laughs> there you go. Donnie Mills draws first blood, one nothing. We're here at the Tur Turning Stone Classic. Danny D. Liberto and Troy, NJ pool player in the box. Upstate Al flying the plane. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us. Say hi to everybody in the chat. If you can, like like the page and uh, share it. Follow Al. Follow I don't know how many uh, more friends he can take because I think they're limited. So if you can just follow him for now and he'll get back to you because I looked up on his board and he had like 8 million people requesting. Maybe not 8 million, 7 million. Donnie Mills checking out the plane of plane trying to almost like straight pull, right, Danny? They look at the rack to see. I don't like looking at the rack. I think that's a waste of time because it's all luck on the break anyway. So I don't like when they look and look. They want it perfect. Forget it. Well, how's Take this? statistics of how many times they make balls on the break when they get it perfect versus when they don't. It's it's incidental. I don't believe it. Right. Get up there and hit them, right? Get up there and hit them. Don't look and touch and I don't like it. I, Neither does Pat Fleming. Yeah. I I say Pat Fleming because with AccuStats you waste a lot of tape when they look and look and look. Right, 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 right. What's this going to do? He right. didn't get too good here. Yeah, no, he, he's, he's okay. It's a tough shot, but he's got a whole pocket there. Yeah, but what do you do with the three? You just kind of just float down by the side pocket there. Yeah, now what do you do to the four? You don't want to hit balls. Danny's testing you, Troy. Yeah, no, I, I, I draw into the nine ball and... 
and knock it in front of something. <laughs> yeah, possibly. You don't hit balls when they're all open. If you, you don't have to. You only tie them up. He's just going to knock that five. Well, he didn't hit anything, Danny. But he did get over that seven ball. This makes yeah, it more well, than he's difficult. Not like this. He can't even reach it, I don't think. This is a tough one, huh? He put himself in a predicament. Tough is right. He might be safe here. You're right. Probably a better idea. As much as you don't like to play safe and always retain well, the table, sometimes you... Tough shot. How do you get position? Well, he looks like he could cue it all right. But he needs to be about <laughs> nine foot tall to reach it. Well, he's pretty close to it. He's a tall fella. He's he's a strapping lad at probably about 6'5", six, 6'4". Six, oh. He did what we said, or you said, safe. That was no safe, though. Yeah, but how do you get position now? Uh, I, I say you play it in the good. side. And I, you might might be able to slide it past that eight ball. That cue ball. Go up to the top of the table. Come around the eight. But it's dangerous. Not good position. No, absolutely not. And it's not a bad safe. I like his opponent here. What is he doing? He's looking where he can put something. Yeah, how are you going to get to the next ball? He played the side. I told you he's fidgety. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, yeah. I don't he's, think he has a chance here. You think if Donnie settles down, he's he's going to put Donnie's it to him? Donnie's the best player here. But you got to get out now in spots like this. I imagine he will. Don't put yourself in another position where you you possibly have to play safe, right? You need to get out. And with that shot. You don't uh, want to play safe or you don't want to hit balls. Or miss. He's fine. Yeah, he's looking good. Uh, that containing safe, that. He's got the right angle to go to the eight to get to the nine. You see it? Yep. He's perfect. Yeah, Donnie Mills played that containing safe on the seven ball. Uh, that allowed him to get back to the table. All right. Donnie Mills, 2-0 here at the 30th Turning Stone Classic. Right, Matt Tetro uh, rocking the balls for Donnie Mills. Uh, Danny DiLiberto in the box. Uh, we were talking about the 30th turning stone actually here. Uh, 18 years, if I'm not mistaken, right here. And Danny mentioned to me that you had to uh, skip a year or two. Yeah, they did. And was there uh, any type of like weather issue reason, was it? And when they opened this place, they didn't have booze oh, okay. in the restaurant, and you couldn't bring any in the room. Yeah, because of the Indian reservation, I guess, yeah. and legalities of the casino. Well, they were on, like, Probation. trial thing. Well. How's this look, Danny? Oh, the 3-5. Looks five. good for the opponent. Why, because of the 3-5, you think? It's tricky. You got to control the 3 when you make the 5, if you make it. But he's okay. 
Yeah, before you get to that three five combination, you you got to really. You know really what? I I wouldn't even be looking at the combination. I look in the ball on the ball in the same pocket that you're making the one, which he didn't do. Oh, I see what you're saying, Danny. You yeah, go the angle right where that chalk is over there. Yeah, a little deeper maybe. Right. That's what I'd rather do that. You'd re you would elect for a harder com uh, positional shot uh, as not to shoot a combination. Well, he's gonna he's playing for the combination, but I don't care for it. Yeah, your advice would be to to fall on it and play, now not have to worry the about. Where's three gonna go? Right. I think it might go cross, go towards the cross side if he hits Will it. Will he have a it. shot at it though? Yeah, we'll we'll soon see. I think yeah. his cue ball has to go towards the bottom rail in order to cut this too. So he's very got, little, but it's going to be tough getting position. He did pretty good with it. Yeah, he came out smelling pretty good on that one. I don't want to involve the nine ball. He came out of right. A little love tap. Well, the eight to the nine is the only chance Mills has. And he's got a nice angle on this uh, five, just to slide over for the seven and then get a little closer to the eight. Oh. Yeah, he got an angle where he's going to get tougher on the eight. Yeah, he sure did, didn't he? He made that a little harder. Draw the side over to that long side rail and bring it back, or? Yeah, that's about the only way, or you got to take the cut other than that. Kill it and take the cut, too, but I don't like that. That's what he did. Not bad there. No, he got the right angle to get on the nine now. Nice pocket speed, a little low right, draw it back to that side rail, get below the side pocket, and you're in business. Yeah, but watch out for the side pocket. Yeah, that's if you if you don't hit it correct, right? You kind of half stroke it, and you'll scratch. But he hit that pretty well. He did. Good out. All right, Matt Tetro. Looking to get back on the get on the board here. He scored a two to one. He made a couple mistakes early on. He got away with it. But early in the match, that's when you kind of want to make a mistake or two. You don't want to ever make a mistake. Right. But you're right. Yeah. If, if you you're gonna do it early. Do it early. Yeah. To get your get your uh, sea legs on you under you. Real quick, I'd like to just take this opportunity to thank all the sponsors who are up there and around the banners, JB Cases, Chalky Sticks, Grimaldi. I don't think Mills played a very good game that time. Yeah, we got AZ Billiards. You can go over there and see all the current scores. They have live scoring there, Danny, on AZ Billiards. That's pretty nice to see for the folks at home. Well, what's good is Jennifer Beretta has won four straight matches. That's good for pool. Yeah. You She's a pretty girl, and she is playing pretty solid. Yeah, and she conducts herself professionally for sure. I agree. Here we go to the break. We're going to have the guys in the truck update the scores, two to one. And looks like Matt made a ball he did and it looks pretty good if he can fall on the two i think he just bumps it to the center of the table there not yeah get but you got to worry about getting behind the six looking pretty good there yeah he did get good i just this one's a little tough we can He's going to draw out of it. I don't know if I like, I, I kind of like just going to the top rail and down. This can give you a bad angle on a three, depending on the speed. Oh, he, he, the speed was he perfect. He got good. 
he did really well there. Because he was crossing the tangent line for the three on that, uh, as opposed to if he went to the top rail and came down. Where are you going? He's okay there. Another inch or two, he would have had a little more trouble. He's but fine. This is comfortable. He, well, I was going to say. Not real fine. Not real fine, yeah. He missed it. He did overshoot it a little bit. Okay, does he have a shot? Does he have a rail? Got to curve it. And uh, with the rules of Mike Zuglin, there are no jump cues. You can, you can utilize your brake cue. Uh, full break you. I like that rule. I'm against the jump cue. The regular little jump cues. I'm but well aware of that. Eventually, I feel like they could change the rule a little bit. If you miss and accidentally snooker your opponent, you could jump. But if you play a perfect safe, no jump. Right. He's going two rails to the eight. Coming short. Don't scratch. No, nah, he's good. Very good. Got a little straight on it, though. Oh, he's got an angle. He got a little angle? He's got enough angle. Well, you don't have to do anything either. You can just stop the ball there and play it in yeah, the side. Yeah, but he's got an angle. He'll play for the corner pocket. I think. He's got an angle. Get it? He had an angle. All right, Donnie Mills up three to one. And Smat Tetro, we're here at the Turning Stone Classic, number 30. Here with Danny DiLiberto, World Hall of Famer. And uh, not just pool, correct, Danny? And boxing also, boxing, Hall of Famer. Yeah. I was a good fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I was ornery. <laughs> I knocked everybody out. <laughs> I didn't like decisions. <laughs> I wanted someone who could count to ten. That's what I liked. That's your decision. But I was a good fighter. That's some sport. Hand-eye coordination to the max. And no one makes the nine in the break. <laughs> <laughs> Here we it's go. vicious. You know, present times, it's amazing they still have all these physical games. Well, we see Jason Shaw in the background. If you want to check the scores, go to AZ Billiards. Got all live updates. He's playing Frankie Hernandez. There we go, Donnie Mills. Watch that that wing ball. There it Made goes. The one Made, in the side. And the one in the side. He don't have a shot on the two though. Yeah. Well, he he has paint on it, but that's about it. No shot. No clear shot. A little safe here. Maybe Definitely hide the cue ball safe. behind the six, or he just puts it up and uses distance. He went with the distance. and I like that. Try and distance get him. is great because if you don't snooker the guy, he's got a long shot. Right. And he has he really can hit it, but I don't know what he's going to do with it. Got to cut it on the left if he could. Yeah, that's a tough shot, right, to skim that ball? Yeah, that's the only shot that you can probably shoot that's not a containing safe. Yeah, but if you don't have a good safe, then bank at the ball. Okay, there you go. You don't want to lose the game with a pony safe. Go down swinging if you don't have a good safe. There you go, folks. I like that advice. <clears throat> hard shot or hard safe. Yeah, but there's a, a psychological thing. 
if you know you're shooting. See, I didn't think he had a good safe, and he didn't. Psychologically, if you know you're shooting the right shot, you shoot it and you hit it better. Well, I don't think. He's got a kick. That's all he's got. Yeah, he's got an edge of the ball. I think he's going to well, swing it around. Does, you got to hit it. He played the bank or no? He made it. He made it. I don't know if he played it, but he made it. Why would you play it if you're not going to get position? You can only lose with it if you're not playing position. I'm not sure he can even see this three ball. Oh, he's got a kick. That's it. He's got a kick. I don't think he played the bank. I think he was just playing safe. He wound well, up getting away with it a little bit. Else. Well, I always tell Billy and Cardona, not yet. Right, he didn't right. get away with it yet. Matt might be able to swing this in with a little bit of a yeah, right-hand English. Forget about that. <laughs> don't huh? hold your breath. <laughs> He's going into the air. He's jumping over that edge. Yeah, forget it. Oh. The air hit someone in the foot on the stands. <laughs> I don't know where that cue ball went. I didn't like it. He could have hit that. He I didn't have no have idea. to try to make it. All right, we're going to have to uh, possibly look for this cue ball here, folks. Yeah, and if it were a crap game and dice, if we can... they check it out. I think it went under the, uh, with, we have a platform over here, and that jump shot went over. Bad idea. Yeah, you he didn't like. could have hit the ball. Hit the ball and hope your opponent doesn't get out. But trying to jump, forget about it. Yeah, you're not a big fan of that jump shot, right? No. Listen, I played... 60 years, I never lost a game where my opponent had to jump. I won every one of those. <laughs> really. You're batting jump. a thousand, Let huh? him jump. I bet I, I win that game. <laughs> what was he doing with the jump? He could have hit it. Rail first, he could have done anything like you called. Right, right. But I thought he was going to swerve around it a little bit, that's yeah, all. Yeah, swerve my foot. <laughs> he jumped off the table. He's already losing, what, three to one? Yes, sir. Well, it might be four to one shortly. And, yeah, with a mistake at the level of uh, a player like it's Donnie so Mills. It's so psychological. You know, you got to make the right decisions. You think that helps you? Uh, all the way through the end game if you're you're making the correct decisions and shooting exactly. the correct Psychologically, shots. Psychologically, if you know you're shooting the right shot, you're going to hit it good. It's when you got doubt, you're not going to hit it good. Well, he got a little short on that. He didn't swing out enough. It uh, leaves Donnie Mills a, a back yeah, cut. But not terrible back cut, right, Danny? It's not. No, he's going to shoot it in the corner, I believe, isn't he? Yeah, 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 to the right, and then to the he's left. He's got the six in the side. That was or the six. seven. I mean, well, he got on the fifty-yard line. Yeah, this is tough, and being that close. But the thing about this is, he'll have position if he makes it. I think he'll make it. Little spin to help it in. Nice shot there by Donnie Mills. Got the easy eight and nine. Well, he's got a little angle on the eight. He might have to draw it to the side rail. No, he had an angle to go two rails. Yeah, you know, he's a better player from what I just see. All right, Donnie Mills taking a pretty nice little lead there, almost way to halfway mark, four to one. 
against Matt Tetros. In the background, we got Frankie Hernandez up at the table against Eagle Eye. I'm curious who to score there. Let's see if we can get it for you in a few minutes. Either that or you can go over to AZ Billiards and check it out. I'm here with the Hall of Famer Danny D. D. Liberto. Upstate Al and myself, Troy. Turning Stone Classic number 30, baby. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. The cream's rising to the top. Yeah, I think they get eight players on the winner's side tonight or four and four for tomorrow on the losers. That's what I think they do today. They'll get down to that. Okay. Four and four, I believe. Yeah, so we have some matches left for tonight. That's for sure. Some good matches. Yeah, baby. They're come up and coming. I think Upstate Al mentioned them before. We got... Who do we got, Al? Shane, Shane Van Boning versus Oli Turkaleen out of Finland, who defeated Jason Shore in his match coming up at 8 o'clock. All right, there we go. He made a couple wow. balls in a uh, couple of the wing balls and has a nice shot on the one ball. Two ball all the way down here in the bottom yeah, rail. That's the trick. That's this How is do you get to the two? The key shot, right, Danny? Could be the winner. It's the whole game if you can fall on the two. He's going to have to come with a tremendous draw stroke here. Then he could get the two in the left-hand corner. But it's a tough first shot. How about if he goes forward? He doesn't have an angle. He's pretty straight in. So he does look like he may have a little angle from well, his vantage see. point. That's the angle he had. <laughs> the sleep in the street angle. Here's one of my harder shots when he the ball's... He didn't have a good shot to get to the two. On this shot either. Well, you're right. He's got to hit, I believe, rail first will give you the best chance. Well, just hitting it high is going to kill the cue ball. Matt elected to take a nice Pretty thin, good, but thin cut at it, yeah. It's thin. You're going to lose Whitey a little. But don't look at it forever. Get up and shoot it. He slid that one in nicely. Got a little high up on the... And a little wrong angle. Yeah, yeah. So now he's got to have to play the short side, possibly. Draw over to the long rail. You're right. No, draw to the side rail and shoot the ball in the same pocket as you're shooting this one. That's what he did. Good shot. I think he has a little angle to go forward and yeah, come he around. Yeah, can go two rails to the eight and the side. No matter where you get on the eight now, you can get to the nine. He's got to go up and around there now, Danny. Maybe. Good stroke. Nice stroke, right? Get off the rail and yeah. home free. Matt gets back two of these games that he kind of gave Donnie Mills before. He didn't want to leave him too many opportunities to get at the table, especially with this format. You got a winner break format. How do you like that from the old days? I the like win it. The winner break format. You can That's really put. I gambled my whole life. Now they play alternate breaks. Forget it. That's not good for the public because if you get way behind, you can't run racks to catch. You know what I mean? Right, right. So I don't like that. Yeah, I, I But they use that in some tournaments. Yeah, I believe there's. Alternate breaks. I don't care for that. Yeah, there's, there's uh, 
argument to to both sides, I believe, and they're, they're both. Yeah, but the whole argument is, folks, we got to please the fans. That's where the money comes from. And you can't be boring. Right. right. You got to be able to run three, four racks. And you can't do that with alternate breaks. So not just the sport as an entertainment value. Uh, well, forget the sport. You got to please the people. Right. We don't have any money coming in. You got to get the people involved. How do you get people in the arena? That's what you need. Not pleasing the players with rules. Anyway, they all hear me out there. <laughs> but it's true. Right, right, right. I've been doing it for many years. Yeah. You want to see excitement, a little showmanship maybe? Yeah, you got to entertain the public or you're not going to get anybody in the arena. A little cut break there. He doesn't have a shot on the one. He could play safe now and go at the nine. Go two rails at the nine. We're coming short. You like that, huh? That's Just like the that. Shot. That's a good shot. That's a real good shot. Well, leaving Donnie Mills a rail first shot. He'll hit it. He's not going to make it, but he'll hit it. One of my, I think. One of my favorite old uh, memories was... Uh, Irving Crane playing a rail first break shot in a 14.1 match. Probably the greatest straight pool player, Irving Crane. It's just a beautiful game to watch when he played. Absolutely. He looks like he's going to go at this 1-8 uh, carom. Play the one in the side, and uh, I don't think you got to do that. Shoot the one right in the side. You're gonna have the two. You're probably going right at the three. Shoot it in the side. You play it off the eight. Where's is he gonna play the nine two? Is that what he's thinking? Well, that might be some it, part of his uh, not a good lucky idea. bonus shot. That's a sellout. Get it? Uh, he made it. I don't it. think he's got the two. He does not have the two, Danny. He would have if he would have cut the ball in the side. He was looking at something. A little extra bonus. A quick quick game, maybe. Here's another rail first shot. That This ball is definitely makeable uh, on a rail first. But it's out there. It's a tough shot. He's just going to go for the hit or another jump. We're going to lose another cue ball, Danny? Could be. Or lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he tried a little uh, Massey there. He got, Donnie got a little f break. Could he shoot soft enough? Hold this up for it's the three? pretty thin, yeah. I think he could. Yeah, just bring the cue ball right back where it is. Yeah, exactly. I think he can do it. He stretched out all the way too. He, he's better off using utilizing a uh, extension or a bridge. Yeah, you got to use. I don't like the extensions either. Why is that, Dan? Those were illegal. Well, you got to play better position. You can play and then just use the extension. Right. Baloney. Get the right position. Well, you say I don't like the extension. You should be a, a maximum length on a cue stick. We had maximum weight. Blank, all that years ago in the rule book. Now you do what you want. You can put an extension, play bad position, reach it. I don't agree with that. Now, how about the the fact that, say, Donnie Mills is 6'5", and the old typical cue is being 58 inches? Well, then if you're too short, become a jockey. <laughs> well, I'm saying he might be, t you're saying that, that long cue stick. What, you want to punish people because the other guy is taller? Forget that. Like I said, find another sport if you <laughs> are limited. 
because me myself, I play with a 64-inch cue. That was illegal years ago. All right, Donnie Mills got a nice uh, He's five. He's got control of this game. Yeah, he sure does. Not much to go on here, right? He swings it around. Gets a little long, but not a he's, problem. He's fine. Just stop the ball, and you got the right angle on the seven to go to the eight. The eight to the nine is no problem, no matter what you do getting on the eight. Right. Just stop, stop the ball, and you got the perfect angle. And not to mention that he's up four to two, so. You got to feel pretty good. good. No matter where you get on the eight, you're going to get on the nine. Nice smooth stroke there by Donnie Mills. I believe uh, Donnie's down in Florida. He is. You know, I lived in Florida 55 years. Did you really, Danny? 55? Yeah. I box down there. Oh, ah, okay. But I know Donnie Mills from Florida. He's a good player, and he's going to get better because he loves the game, and he works at it. Donnie Mills up 5-2 to two against Matt Tetris. Tetra? Tetro. Tetra. Sorry about that. Sorry, what would you say, sir? No, I was just a... Uh, pronunciation of tetro tetro yeah matt tetro he's uh, he's actually a pool table mechanic he goes around uh, the upstate area uh reclothing tables and doing all kind of service work and he's busy very busy Here, there you go give him a little bit of a hook anybody in the area you can seek out matt tetro for your, some of your in the upstate area yeah. upstate area work. yeah for some of your mechanical issues on your pool tables I'm standing by. There we go. We're at Danny the 30th and Turning Stone Classic here with Danny D. Liberto, Hall of Famer, myself, NJ, NJ, pool player. NJ Pool Player, and Upstate Owl in the wings. He's uh, on social media and switching cameras and doing all the hard work. I'd just like to thank him and all the folks here at Turning Stone. Al works hard. Al does work hard. I've done other work with him other than here. He and we had a lot hard. of fun, too. I tell you, we were on the road, Danny and I going to Ohio, and I never heard so many good stories in my career than I heard from Danny DiLiberto. And we had somebody on Skype, remember that? And the guy insulted <laughs> Danny. Danny said, hey, F you, turn the Skype I off. I didn't like him. He didn't cuss, though. He never cussed. He I said, never cussed. He said, turn that thing off. I don't want to talk to cuss. this guy no more. <laughs> I don't cuss. I never smoked. <laughs> Well, it looks like Donnie Mills may have come up dry. He did. So he didn't sell out. There's no <laughs> gimme run out here. No, it sure isn't. There's a, a quick scan at the table. The only thing I see is he can go for the one in the side. The cue ball is coming out hot, you though. Yeah, you can't shoot here. Or you play safe behind you a seven? Safe. Well, no, you don't have to do that. You can bank the, the one towards the seven and go to the end rail with the cue ball. Okay, I see that too. That's your best shot. He's looking in that, that other pocket, that opposite pocket. He's going uh, aggressive. Well, maybe he feels like he's far behind. He's got to go aggressive, but he's not going to make it. Nice two-way there, I guess. Well, we got a three-rail kick now. I think you got a pretty good shot to make it. Uh, I don't think he has that side rail. At the yes, he does. Yeah, okay. But he's not looking at it. He's just looking to hit the ball. Yeah, you're not going to make it, but you're going to hit it. You're going to make Whitey. <laughs> All right, here's an opportunity by Matt. Got an open table. You see anything uh, causing any well, trouble? What I see is the match so far, and I don't think this guy 
at least tonight, is capable of running nine balls. And they're all out in the open. You think he's I, I wouldn't. Would you bet on him running nine? Looking to get in that trouble? I wouldn't bet. He certainly got a chance to, but. Oh, he's got trouble right here. That three ball, uh, he needed to get really in between the three and the eight for position or some type of angle where he is right now. And uh, this two ball. This is the three near the eight, right? Yes, yeah. And the two ball has Tough an to get there. angle going up table. He's unable to hold it. See what he does yeah, here. Yeah, he's not going to like this. He's going to play safe. Good. He's going to play safe in back of the eight or play the bank, which I don't like. I don't think you play anything. Yeah, he's going to try and play safe behind the eight, I believe, right? Yeah. Danny's banking us for my money. Or he can go behind the five up there. Okay, bring it down by the yeah, nine. Go distance is the best. Yeah, he can do this. It's sitting pretty good. Going to the five. Looks Go like behind the five. He tried it. That's a good shot. Good shot. Yeah, good shot. Left him on top of the five either way. If it's not in back, it's on top. It Donnie Mills got a kick to hit the ball. But you better draw the ball so you don't scratch. He's got a piece of the outside of this three ball. Good shot. This. good shot, good speed. Now there's no real good safe here. Yeah, anything you do here is, seems to me that you're going to leave a shot. You're going to get the worst of it. All right, he's going on the inside. That might be his only shot. Yeah, well, Feather the left side of that yeah, three. Yeah, but if he hits it too Thick. hard, he can scratch or hit a point. And go nowhere. Or, or not hit, hit nothing. Or hit nothing. That's what I call sleep in the street. <laughs> now, what was, what was his other alternative to shoot that three? He could have kicked at it with a little speed and at least get the three far down and might go behind a few balls. Yeah, sometimes you... Cutting it, no good. Because if he hit it fuller than the miss... He would have hit the point or scratched. Sometimes your hands are tied. You're saying maybe just try and leave a little distance. Just hit the ball. Just hit the ball. You know, well, <laughs> look what he did. Yeah. What are you going to do there? You got to hit the ball. Yeah. Now it's giving him an opportunity to give uh, Donnie Mills a runaway train here. He's got a, a runaway is right. Oh, he let What's the, this going to do? It's going to do nothing. Yeah, he maybe didn't give that enough attention, just kind of like blase and put it up there. No, I think you ba you bank this perpendicular between the 7 and 9 and leave the cue ball at the end rail. This is what I call the snooker safe. Bank it between the 7 and 9 all the way down you see the shot? Yeah, I see it. I see another shot, though. They, uh, this is an awfully big pocket on the bottom left. Oh, I don't like that. The eight is in the way. No, I don't like that. Right now, you got a commanding lead. Bank the ball between the seven and nine. That's what he's doing, I believe. No, I don't think so. He's going two rails oh, thin. Oh, thin. He left no the good. shot. No good. No good. The shot stunk. <laughs> Left My there. shot was the shot. Maybe he doesn't know that shot, but it's a good shot. Yeah, anything would have been better than that shot, right? Uh-oh, watch the nine ball. You could have problems here. <laughs> he did, but he can, he's he got a good kick shot to make it, but how do you get position? Got to hit it kind of hard and try and come in rail first, no? He's not going to like it no matter what. He's not playing good enough to win this match. Oh, he's going to twirl it. Massé it. He made it. Where are you going? 
He's going to bank this. Playing short rail to short rail. He's going to put the seven on the short rail down no, below I and the cue bank, ball up. But you don't have to shoot here, except you feel like you're way behind and you're not going to win by playing safe. You think he's going to bank it in the corner or the side? No, play safe yes. one more time. Yes, absolutely. You're not out of the match yet. That's right. There it is. That's the shot, no matter what. I'd like to see him get that cue ball further away, but it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, but he's okay. And I always say, if you don't have a good safe, shoot at a white flag. <laughs> Donnie, you going to try and put him behind the eight here? My shot again, the end rail. Bank it perpendicular. Yeah, he got him with the nine or the eight. I don't know. He left it. He might hit it. See that he shot? Banking it to the end rail. Yeah, leave it long. Leave it long. Let your opponent figure out something. Right. Or try and make a mistake for, it's for you. It's starting to sound like they don't know how to do it. Well, that's all right if he doesn't make the seven. He does have a shot at it. Yeah, well, he's got position. I think he's got he's a favor to make the shot, too. I don't know about that, but the thing is, if you make it, it's automatic position. You don't have to play position. Make the ball, but when you got a long, tough shot and you got to make it and play position, it's tough to do. Here, he only has to make it, but it's still far away. Good shot, you see it? And psychologically, he knew that. He knew if he made it, he's out. Yeah, right now we have a score of five to two. It's yeah, going to be six to two any minute. Yes, sir. It sure, sure looks that way. You pot this eight ball. He punched out a little bit. He's in good shape. Donnie Mills ahead of Matt Tetro. Six two. We're here at the Turning Stone Classic. Where's Matt Tret Tetro from? I think Matt is a local fellow from up here, upstate New York. And uh, as you know, Donnie Mills down in Florida. And we are here at Verona, New York, at the Turning Stone Classic 30. Mr. Danny DiLiberto, Hall of Fame pool player and boxer, in the box. We're Just got into the um, Buffalo I, Hall of Fame, right? Was it Buffalo Hall of November, Fame? November, yeah. In November, yeah, it's just recently. A thousand people showed up. Great. Wow. Great nice affair. Nice show up, yeah. Great affair. Good for you, Dan. You deserve it. No, was Petey Mog oh, sorry, Peter Margo was telling me that you had, like, knocked out so many guys all the f in every fight, but your hand kept breaking. I had 12 knockouts yeah. in 14 fights. Right, right. And then, you, you know, your hands kept breaking, right? Kept yeah. breaking your hands. I broke this four times. Right. But he wasn't using his name, his real name. Oh, no. He was an undercover agent. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't what? Using you were your... an undercover agent. What was the name you used? Danny Torriani. Danny Torriani. There's a reason for that. Was there? Well, tell us. For Don't... my parents, I, didn't, I spared them. I went to Florida and fought and told them I was going to Florida to work for the winter. <laughs> and I spared my family. Save them the grief and of the you getting hurt. The first fight I had was in Tampa, and two friends of my father were at ringside. And they said, you're not Danny Torian. I got exposed immediately. <laughs> it didn't take long, huh? <laughs> then my father said, if that's what you want to do, you got my blessing. All I right. said, Dad, don't worry about me. Worry about the guy I'm fighting. <laughs> True. <laughs> I was mean. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie Mills up six to two. Uh, loses the cue ball to the side pocket I told on the break. You, last rack, this guy is not playing well enough to run nine. Well, he definitely has his hands full with this rack. There, looks it doesn't he look has very his pretty. Hands full with every rack. 
<laughs> I tell you, Matt Tetro is definitely not shooting his game. I know Matt Tetro for a He's long time. He's frigidy. This is he, too that's, much That's for his him. game. He's been playing that way for years. He is a run-out player. He but could run out. Did he ever play on the TV table before? I would have to say, yeah. I streamed him in numerous pool rooms, yeah. I would have to say, yeah. But not. I don't think I streamed him here in this event. I stand corrected if I did. Because that gets people sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, putting yourself up on a showcase there, knowing that the lights and the cameras and everybody's watching could mess with your psyche, I guess. Well, for sure. And just the pressure of the event. He, he got out of line already. He has to play the combination. 3-8. And over a ball again. And where does the three go when you make the eight, if you make the eight? Right back at the nine. Just as a quick update for you folks out there, Earl Strickland won his match over Bruce Nagel, nine nothing real quick. Get what quick. I mean? Zion Z won over Ron Casanzio, nine one. Frankie Hernandez got defeated by Jason Shaw, nine four. Weston Dreigel. 4-3, they're still in a match. Pat Fleming is in the match against uh, Sean Morgan, and Pat Fleming's leading 5-2. George Rodriguez and Dave Slumpress. George Rodriguez, 6, Dave, 4. And Danny Hewitt and uh, Brandon Schuff, 4-2 in favor of Danny Hewitt. All right, thank you for those updates, Upstate. Yep. And I see our man Pat Fleming, huh? He's still chugging along. Good, he's a good man. He is a great man. He's very honest. You play in a tournament that he's running, you get paid. Just to bring the update, uh, they just updated it. Pat Fleming leads 7 2 in his match over Sean Morgan. They just update yeah. the score. Yeah, wow. Eddie, Eddie Cohen swinging by the booth, giving a thumbs up. Pat Fleming, 7 2. We're all his uh, cheerleaders, that's for sure. We want to see him do well. He, uh, well, well uh, he's in his fifth round, right? Yeah, fifth round. at yeah, least. He's doing good. And, like, I, and now that we're talking about Pat Fleming, he is promoting the U.S. Open International Tournament in Norfolk October 21st through 7th. 27th, yeah. And everybody will get paid. That should be a fabulous event. I, I say that because previous promoters didn't pay everybody. Yeah, there's sometimes there's a little bit of an issue with that, but it's not oh, going to yeah, be an you issue. You go to a tournament and you pay for the room and the entry and all. You want to get paid. Oh, well, he might have got lucky on this one. Look at this. Not yet. He did. He he went to shoot I that. I know, but he's not out yet. Oh, right. He, but he shot that five in the side and he missed it by a, well, okay, a couple but inches. He should get out now. That's good speed. He got the angle on the seven now to go to the eight. That's not accidental, folks. He played for this angle. Ooh, Donnie Mills getting ready to go up seven to two on Matt Tetro. Donnie Mills got a little fortunate there by missing that he didn't ball in the shoot side. that hard enough. Yeah, he you don't want to shoot this in the corner. A little harder, you shoot it in the side. All right. Yeah, that, that was a kind of a missable shot by not. It was, but when you're ahead six to two, makes it a little it's easier. An easier shot. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. It is. Just, just stay still. There we go. Donnie Mills up 7-2. Right after this match, I think they'll probably have a uh, they'll probably have a little break in between. It it seems unless Matt uh, can get back on the table, Donnie Mills is close to the end here. Now's the time to close it out, right, Danny? Put him away. One, two, three, sh shot. Exactly, but right now he's supposed to be loose because 
his opponent is not laying a glove on him. Right. That means a lot. Yeah, not putting any pressure on your opponent allows your yourself to kind of a little, little, little more free stroking, right? He made a ball. See here, he can bank at the one cross corner because the cue ball is going the right direction to the two. You can bank at this. And he did, except he ran into the five, but he still might have a little cut on the two. He's looking at it. Yeah, he may be able to make this. Cue ball's going to come out a little hot, but that's okay. It's up and down, just try and keep it away from the eight, right? Yeah, make the ball. The just three make, is shootable. Just make the ball. Don't worry about where that cue ball is. Right, you know that cue right. ball is coming out hot, right? He did, too. And What's gonna this going to do? Hit behind the seven. It did. Got to kick it long rail. He may have a piece of it, but that doesn't do That's you any not good, right? help him. You're going in the pocket. Right. Kick it the long rail. You're playing a guy that's not getting out with ball in hand. Well, maybe he can hit enough of it to hit it fuller than thin. That worked out well, huh? It did. <laughs> I'm laughing because the poor guy is suffering, playing bad, and this is what he's got. <laughs> this is it. This is your reward. Yeah, possibly making the five here. We're coming oh, off. Oh, forget that. Well, I'm saying you're a dreamer. I don't mean to insult you, but no, I, no, I was, do I'm, that. It was close. <laughs> Did you I take was, a good look at this guy? I was pretty close, though. When he gets hungry, Danny, he hides behind a tree and grabs a deer He's running big. past it. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs a deer and runs past it. <laughs> but I think he likes me. He does. <laughs> I guarantee he does now. <laughs> don't shake, Danny. <laughs> all is all is good there, Danny. All right. That's not a bad shot. I left your opponent in a little tough position, a little distance. You like that distance, don't you, Dan? Distance kills. You know, what are you going to do here? Bank it at the five and go long with the cue ball. He didn't do that. He didn't do that. Even though he snuckered him and he's far away, the ball is still makeable, and position is there if you kick it in. He's got to kick the long you, way. What do you say? Go to long uh, to the short rail and go long. Yeah, he's got a big ball. If he makes it, he's got a position shot. He's pointing where he's got to hit. This is a big ball. I wouldn't bet against him missing this. Now, how, how are you on with these one rails? Kicks, do How's you? he? Nice. How did he hit that? That's what I said. He had a good shot to make it. I know a lot of guys use systems for that type of thing, like half of it. Do you use a, just like a Everything field? Everything changes according to conditions. If the table's wet, it's not an automatic kick. You know, you, you're going to bank a little sharper. So all that happens. You have to put that into your calculations. Yeah, it counts. Look at this. <laughs> Poor Tetro. Look at that. It's like clean living. He's going to kick it one rail to make it. He can hit it, but at this point, you're better off kicking to make it. And that's what he's going to do. Because if he makes it, he's got position. Oh, he 
left in combination on the nine. Yeah, I, I don't think, think he's going to make it. Yeah, and I don't think the five passes if he wanted to no, try and run out. No, he's got the combination. That's what he's looking at. I think he'll make it. He's close enough to hit it good. And it's facing the pocket directly. So he's got a big pocket here. It looks to me he might be trying to swing it into the pocket. And get that. Oh, he had it. Oh, if you got the shot, forget the combination. Yeah, you said it doesn't go. I listened to you. That's the last time I'm listening to you. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, he let the cue ball go a little bit. This have is a long, no good. Long shot. He's not going to get position on the eight. A good shot anyway. He's, He's got to shoot so hard here that the ball is missable. He's just going to leave the cue ball there. Just pocket it. And it's missable. I told you it's missable. It's a pretty big opportunity to get back yeah. into the race. Yeah, but well he needs to get a home run with the bases loaded. Look at this. That's not going to be good. Oh, he got lucky. He did get lucky. Yeah, yeah. He got a little too but close to his work okay. there, right? He's allowed. Don't get on the rail. Yeah. Right now, everything looks tough for him. But yeah, he's not making it any easier for himself, right? Right. All right. He got another game. Seven to three. We got a match, folks. Yeah. Let's see if he can Again, do... Again, like I said, he needs a home run with the bases loaded. That's four. <laughs> a good break here and uh, keep him on the table uh, is a start all you can do now is win them one at a time that's it one ball at a time right you don't try and they, what do they say how to how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time <laughs> did you ever try to eat an elephant oh I mean, you're kind of an <laughs> elephant yourself. Oh, God, it got me. <laughs> you can't eat an elephant. Uh, oh, yeah, you can. You better have a good saw. <laughs> <laughs> One bite at a time, Danny. That's One right. bite at a time. Uh, very important break here. Uh, players have been utilizing the cut break, and it's been working pretty good as long as they can control that cue. The only problem is you need to make a ball. You need to make that wing ball. Watch. And he, did, he made the one in the side. That's been going in pretty regular. Yeah, on this table. It looks like he, he might have a cut on the two. He does. And I believe the three passes the eight. That pocket's open. Just don't want to tickle this nine ball, correct? You're giving them eight balls already? No, no, the three passes. Yeah, well, that's a far away from the nine. Uh, watch the cue ball. He's got the window, but it's going to be tough to get to the three. No matter what. Yeah, you got to really got to force this with the, make sure you got center ball going to that ball, I think. He might have enough of a cut so he can cheat the pocket a little bit, get that cue ball rolling. We just lost the camera. This is, there we go. forget it, tough okay. position. Tough, tough position. He snookered. Yep. Yeah, that's one of the tougher positional shots, even though it's an easy shot, a ball in the pocket, deep in the pocket, say, and you have to navigate the cue ball to a opposite end of the table or somewhere in the center of the table.
Well, he's got a chance to run out and win another game. But you got to do it. Hey, a tough shot uh, when they're close together like this. Any advice on... Uh, no, he could twist it in. Twist it in. Use a little spin, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, then, then you hit the ball fuller and control the cue ball better. But the thing is, at this stage, you can't afford any mistakes. You know, your opponent is one game away from the hill. And you were saying before, you have to shoot something where you're very comfortable at it, and you're, you're more likely to come out ahead of the game. If you know you're shooting the right shot. If you, sh you know you will psychologically hit it better. That may have been a better choice than to try and twist yeah, that. Yeah, but how are you going to get all those games doing this when you're not running the rack when you get a shot? Right. So I don't think he's going to run out if he gets a shot. He's going to hit this thin and go all the way to the eight. Good shot. That was a great shot. He hit that nice and thin. And here comes a six into the way. You have to go through the side rail and get this maybe. Well, the kick is easy, but what's going to happen? You know, you're supposed to hit this. Yeah, three might get wind up uh, hanging in the pocket. Oh, bad he hit. He didn't hit anything except the wrong ball. <laughs> well, leaving Donnie Mills uh, uh, opportunity to get to the hill here. Mm-hmm. Donnie Mills is looking to see if that four passes the nine. Uh, I know he has I a think pocket. He does. His, but he also has the same pocket where he's shooting a three ball. He can go three and a four in the same pocket also. Yeah, if he puts a cut, put the cue ball in front of the seven and then use the rail. He has a whole pocket apparently. Yeah, he does. Do you go up and shoot this five in the side, or do you just elect to keep in it the simple? Side. You shoot okay. it in the side. If he has the angle to do it. And apparently he didn't. He's all right no matter what. You're playing an opponent that's not shooting real great. So don't gamble. Just play it simple. Look at this. Make the ball. Shoot the six. Stick. You got a perfect angle on the seven from there to get to the eight. The only thing can go wrong is missing. Yeah, come back and play the six in the side. Maybe. Miss. No, in the corner. Okay, there you go. He had an angle. Nice perfect. shot. Perfect. Perfect. He's right. got the angle on the seven to go to the eight. Just leave it over there and play the seven in the corner and draw it back a little bit, right? Right. He got a perfect angle to do it. And the eight is out in the open, so it doesn't matter where you get. You can get to the nine. All right. We just got some breaking news for another Hall of Famer. My good friend, Pat Fleming, is leading 8-3. to three. Uh, Thank you for that update, Danny D. Liberto, Hall of Famer. Yeah. You know, Pat is doing good, but he's been working at the game. He was a good player years ago before he got involved with AccuStats. Uh, nice, powerful stroke there. See what I meant? No matter where he got on the eight, he could get to the nine. And you can see all these score updates at AZ Billiards. Donnie Mills puts a, one more up on, the, on board, the hill, and he's on the hill. Also scored an eight to three. It looks like our our good friend Pat Fleming had uh, has come at it at victoriously. Uh, there was just a big 
crowd clapping, and I think he made an easier uh, eight to three. Yes, thank you. Uh, so Pat Fleming moves forward. He's in the money round. Got some people stopping by, giving us the updates of Pat. He's got a lot of. He's got a nice cheerleading section. How do you not? How do you root against that guy, right? He's a good man. He jumps out of airplanes. <laughs> he rides a bicycle. Rides a bike, 125 miles. Eddie, Eddie Cohane, EddieTheLock.com, stopping by the booth. Fleming over Sean Morgan. He beat me 9-3 this morning. He's playing good. Pat is, you know, he's got that smooth stroke. It's working out. All that practice. I hear he's got a good punching bag at home. Yes, he does. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> <Love> you, <too. laughs> you know, Pat Fleming plays with Eddie. Uh, all the time. Eddie Cohane all I've the time. I've been in that area. I was in the, that floor. I, stay, I stayed with Eddie. And Pat's right up the hallway. Yeah, probably. yeah. That's why I said Pat's got a good punching bag. <laughs> oh, look at this. Donnie Mills made it's a ball on the break. and It's over. That six is a little problematic. He can get that now, maybe. I don't care. He's out. You don't want to go into the six there. You might bounce it and snooker yourself. Now, what do you think here? Come in short and... Yeah, you know, he can go two rails. Just don't miss. That's the only thing can go wrong. See it? Perfect. I think. Not perfect. See, there's shots where are you better off shooting too hard or too easy? There, it would have been too easy to shoot that shot. He snuckered himself because he went a little too far. But he'll hit this. He may leave him safe also behind that 7-9. I don't know about that. There we go. Uh, he left a shot. I think he may have yeah, a piece no of it. Yeah, no bargain. Yeah, you don't like shooting this shot, uh, especially being behind 8-3, your opponent on the hill. <laughs> it's history. <laughs> it is history. And look where the six is. Yeah, he's not going to get out here. Yeah, he scratched. Boy. The suffering is over. He hit that terrible. Yeah, well, or terribly. I don't know but if he's able to shoot this three ball on the side here. Well, how about banking it? Doesn't matter. And how about shooting the six? Let's see what Donnie Mills comes up with. Apparently, he does have the side pocket. Yeah, but if he didn't, he has the six anyway. Yeah, combination. Yeah, no problems here. Good shot. You go up above the side pocket, or do you play the short no, side? No, you go above it. Eliminate that side pocket out of the equation right. of the shot. And right. position is easier. Looks like smooth sailing from here on out for Donnie Mills. Bump out to the center of the table. You might want to make oh, the ball got first. Careless. Sometimes the final game is toughest. Well, you got him with the smooth sailing. <laughs> I gave him the commentary curse. You heard of Ella Fitzgerald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She made a song that was a big hit years ago called Smooth Sailing. Oh, yeah? I have yeah. to look that one up. Look it up. Look at this. He yeah, should not, get out. Not making it easy for himself, though, is he? By no, he should get out here. Don't 
Donnie Mills unable to close it out. Uh, give him Matt Tetris. Yeah, he should have got out. A point on the board. We got a score of eight to four. The Turning Stone Classic number 30 here with Danny DiLiberto, Hall of Famer. Happy to be here. We got Upstate Al running the show. I'm NJ Pool Player. We're here in Verona, New York for the Mike Zucklin Turning Stone Classic. This is a uh, extension of the Josh Tour event. This is, uh, twice a year we have a big event here at Turning Stone and it, it couldn't be it's a good better tournament. venue. Great, great tournament. It's like a world tournament. You got world title players. Van Boning, Shaw, and Casanzio is playing good. And we got Jennifer Beretta. <laughs> she's prettier than all of them. <laughs> and she's right there on the TV, right back on the second table, practicing up, I think, getting ready for her next match. And here we go to the break. Matt utilizing the cut break, but unfortunately. Made noise, that's all. He's got to cut at the one. Position is going to be tricky. That cue ball is going to be a little, a little hot. a little bit of right-hand English. No, it'll come back straight with a little right-hand English. You won't even go near those other balls. That's nice, the way to hit it. Nice and thin and, and flatten and it out. A little right-hand English. You'll just go perpendicular right to the two. And he's, a, he's a tall fella, so he's able to reach this. He's not doing it. No, he's he's going at those balls. That was no good, but he did. A, he got away with it. Yeah, I wouldn't have gone into those balls. Something yeah, that turned bad. out really nice for him. He, he's got perfect. He should be out. <coughs> but I said that last rack. Yeah. You, but I think I'm, I'm you, right this time. You, yeah, you got him last time with that uh, smooth sailing bit. You did. You're oh. the one who said smooth sailing. <laughs> I said Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> it was a big hit. What do they say? Sailors aren't made with uh, good sailors aren't made by smooth seas. Yeah, just stop the cue ball here. Yep. Only problem I see is him stopping the cue ball right there is how do you get on that five or where do you play the five? You have to get back and play I the five. I think the five goes up the far corner. Yeah. Where the eight is. That's, it that's, does. It's close up there. It goes. It's not even close. That's what he should be thinking of. It goes. He's got a full pocket. And he's got the right angle to get straight in on it. Oh, he didn't want to do that. He didn't look at it. That, you didn't have to do anything extra there. Now he's gotten a little bit of a problem. Yeah. I think Danny D was saying that uh, with pocket speed, he was able to manipulate oh, that it, five ball. Oh, he had right? almost a full pocket. Oh, once again. He didn't get out. That's bad. That last game, like Danny D said, this is often uh, problematic at the end of the match, right, to close it out. It's, it's bad because you want to be a champion, and you got to get out when that happens. You're on your hill, you got to get out. That psychologically will n not let them have confidence his next match. But he's playing a guy that really is not a threat. Yeah, he's having a hard time about it. He's probably a good player, but he didn't show it tonight. Yeah, I've had my 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 uh, round of bad matches. And, you know, unfortunately with this game, it's sometimes it's you're only as good as your last match, right? Yeah, but here... He shouldn't try to cut it in. It's a tough shot. Go one rail with a full ball and go behind the eight. 
He's going for it He's here. He's going, but the cue ball is going to be flying everywhere. He played safe. He played what? Safe. What a time to play safe. <laughs> You're on the hill. You have already didn't get out two games on the hill. I'll scold him later. You got to get out. Got to go for the win, right, Danny? Yeah, you want to be a champion. You got to get out when you got a chance on the hill. Well, here's his opportunity. Made good work of that nice shot there. Donnie Mills getting ready to wrap it up. It looks like it. I'm here with Danny DiLiberto, Troy NJ pool player. Upstate Al in the background. This is a B-side match. <clears throat> the winner here moves on to play. And the loser goes home. Or anywhere, but he don't have to go home. <laughs> you don't have to go home, but he can't stay here. Right. <laughs> Nothing fancy here. Just bump off the rail and come to the other side. You can elect to play this in the side also. Oh, you got to play it in the side. Got this close to it. Oh, he double clutched it there, Danny. All right, Donnie Mills for the win against Matt Tetra. Score a nine to four. We're here with Danny DiLiberto. We'd like to thank him for joining us in the booth and more than welcome to stay as long as you want. Danny's on lockdown. He knows who's the match coming up next. <laughs> Shane Van Boning versus Ole Turkalinen coming up next. Danny D will be in the box of that one. I will be, yeah. All right. We'll be back, folks, in just a little bit. We're going to just keep flying. We're not going to stop and then come back again and refresh. We think we got ample time to do it. Two and a half hours should be ample time. Yep. We're going to do our intros. Thanks, NJ Pool Player Troy, and thanks, Danny DiLiberto. Oh, thank you for having me, Upstate Al, and Danny DiLiberto. It was my pleasure of joining you in the box for that fine match, and let's I'm do it again. I called you an elephant. Oh, <laughs> I don't take anything personally. I called him worse. On I the got, elephant conversation. I have, I have thick skin like an elephant. <laughs> they do have thick skin. <laughs> All right, sir. We'll see you in a little bit. If you need anything, you give me a holler, and I'll be okay. sure to take care of it. Anybody Thank gives you. you any problems, Thank I, you. I think I still got a pretty good right hook, too. I can handle myself. <laughs> With that note, we'll be right back, folks. <laughs>